everybody, I'm Morgan from BayAreaBeautyBlogger.com and today we're going to be doing a possum Everest makeup look. If you have children, let's say 10 or under, I'm sure you immediately recognize this Everest makeup look from Paw Patrol. If you're like, what are you talking about, you crazy YouTube lady, then just forget I said that. Today we're simply creating an adorable husky puppy makeup look. Whether you or your little one is dressing up as Everest this Halloween or just, you know, an adorable little husky puppy, stay tuned. I'll walk you through this makeup look step by step and we will create it together. We'll start by creating a base for this look. To do that, we are going to use a primer, foundation, and concealer. Now we're going to fill in our eyebrows. We're not going to do anything fancy. We're just going to fill them in like we normally would any day of the week. Next, let's work on our eye makeup look. We're going to start this by applying a slate shimmery eyeshadow to our entire eyelid up to the crease of our eye. And then in that crease, we're going to blend it in a bit so it's smudgy like you're creating a smoky eye. I like using a pencil eyeshadow for this. I think that pencil eyeshadows are really quick and easy to apply. This pencil eyeshadow that I'm using is a particularly great option because it does have the pencil eyeshadow on one side, couldn't get it open, and then it actually has a blender right on the other side so you don't even need any extra tools. You just use this and your look is ready to go. Well, the eyeshadow part of it is ready to go. We still have quite a few more steps to do. For this next step, we are going to channel our inner Billy Joe Armstrong. You know, the lead singer of Green Day. I hope you know that. If you don't, now you do. And we're going to line our entire eye with a black pencil liner. So you're going to want to use a black pencil liner that glides on really easily. If you're still like, okay, I don't know who Billy Joe Armstrong is for some reason, and you have a dog next to you like I do, you can just grab them and use them for inspiration. Kendra has such beautiful natural black eyeliner on every day. I disturbed her from her nap, let's let her lay down again. All right, onto that eyeliner. I've created quite the mess with my black pencil eyeliner, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a small angled brush just to blend it and smudge it all in there. It doesn't need to look too perfect, but I do want it to look a little bit better. That's better. Okay, now everyone, let's breathe a collective sigh of relief because this look does not require false lashes. I'm not even gonna put them on for this look. What I'm going to use is a lengthening and curling mascara instead. Our eye makeup is now done. Kendra, the wait is over. 
Now we're gonna add those adorable little puppy aspects to our look. We'll start by drawing some fur on our forehead. So to do this first, I'm gonna grab that pencil liner that I used on my eyelid, and I'm just gonna draw some lines kind of starting from the middle of my eyebrows, just out towards my hairline, just above my eyebrows and out in both directions. Let's do it. Let's add to this by using a white pearlized pencil eyeliner. This is actually just a multi-stick from Wet n Wild that you can kind of use anywhere on your face. And we are going to go between those gray lines and add in some shiny white lines. may have noticed I did go ahead and extend this pearly white color down to about the mid bridge of my nose using it as a little bit of a highlighter too. Along those lines you can grab that shimmery slate color again and actually just extend your eyebrows down a little bit towards your nose. Okay now let's blend that all in a little bit. I will use a blending brush for this. If you don't have a blending brush, no big deal, just use your fingers instead. I am loving how this looks as is, but if you want to add a touch more detail, you can go ahead and grab a gray liquid eyeliner and you could just put some flicks of that on top of what you've already done. If I can do this while a dog is licking my arm, you definitely got this. Next, we'll add our adorable little puppy nose. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and grab that black pencil eyeliner again. And the way that you're gonna do this is you're gonna start by tracing your nostril, pretty much, and you're gonna go around that way. You're gonna go over the tip of your nose and then back down around your other nostril. Then you're gonna follow between your nostrils, I guess. You're gonna color in that whole line and go down the center here down to your lip. I know, it's kind of strange, but it's gonna look pretty cute, so let's try it. We would not recommend this look if you have a cold. Now we're going to take our pearly white pencil eyeliner that we used on our forehead and use it above our lips. We're going to create kind of a circle on either side of this black line that we put down from our nose to our lips to create a place to put our whiskers. <laughs> so we're going to fill that in with the white, then we're going to take that black pencil liner one more time and just dot it on the white. I'm going to do like three dots on each side to look like little whiskers. We're almost done. Next, we're gonna take a black liquid lipstick. I have one that has a silver shimmer in it, and we are gonna put that on our top and bottom lip. This is great that you already have this black line in the middle there because you don't have to worry about your Cupid's bow being like perfectly lined. On your bottom lip, we are going to take that curly white eyeliner multi-stick, whatever you have. If you 
haven't already extended that white makeup that you already have on your face down to your lower lip, go, maybe I'll stop doing that while I'm talking. Go ahead and do that so you can just connect that whole line there. You've created this super awesome, super adorable husky puppy makeup look. We don't want it getting all messed up while we're out trick-or-treating, going to the pumpkin patch, doing whatever fun Halloween thing we're doing. So to lock in this look and make sure it stays in place, we'll put on a setting spray. That's it, we've transformed ourselves or our little ones into Everest from Paw Patrol. Do you think you'll be trying this makeup look this Halloween? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, before you go, whether you watch this video or whether you actually tried the makeup look out, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a happy and safe Halloween.